All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Gunfish TV. I'm out here today on beautiful Airfield Lake. Now, I don't fish this lake all that often. Um, I fished it a lot in the past, but it can be really tough. I don't have that long to fish today, but it is some really big bass in here. It's some, it's some hammers, and through the years, me and my buddies have caught some. I don't even think I fished here last year, to be honest with you. But it, 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 it's it got some big ones in it, but they can be really tough. I'm um, going to be throwing the jerk bait today. Big three-quarter ounce red-eye shad. That's what I usually catch them in here on. I'm going to get right and get in the boat here and see what the, uh, what the water temp is. I'm thinking it's going to be mid-40s, probably. Step in the boat here and see what we got. Showing 46.3 right now on that um so let's see what we got back here this one's been all right 47.7 that one's showing so uh not that bad the bite should be good i'm I, like i said i'm gonna throw the jerk bait and i'm gonna throw that trap don't really throw the jig or nothing slow moving to here really don't do that great on it so hopefully we can get us a big one stay tuned let's find out all right, so I'm going to start off with this six cents jerk bait. I'm not exactly sure what model this is or anything. I actually caught this off the bottom of Gaston Lake on an A rig like three years ago. And I just cleaned it up last night, put some new hooks on it, put some uh, Gamagatsu wide gaps on it. And I'm going to start off with that. Um, I like gold stuff, so I, I just, I don't know. It's, gold blaze on spinner bait gold jerk baits things like that they just they've always done well for me so that's what i use but i'm throwing it on 12 pound test mono uh 6.6 six medium rod and uh, uh old revo s 6.4 to 1 and i'm gonna throw it out there and we're gonna see what we can do i usually do pretty good on jerk bait in here so maybe they'll be biting And this lake here is a troller motor only lake and it's a pretty funny place the fish this time of year literally they just get scattered all out here in the middle and you can kind of catch them anywhere i'm not gonna i'm not gonna lie you can kind of kind of get them wherever and you find them in little little groups and usually you kind of catch them kind of together you kind of find out where they're at it's a whole bunch of stumps out here all under the water i usually get hung a plenty so but that's where the bass are at i don't know how deep this i don't know how deep this jerk bait's going it don't seem like it's going very deep to me Miss one. It is basically like a shelf, and it comes off this flat right here in this pocket. And the bass kind of get up on it, and they sit right on that drop off. Caught a many a nice one right here, but it's good to know I got a bite right there because. Normally, if it's one there, it's a whole bunch there. I just barely stuck that fish, and he was right on the edge of that of that shell. I change up jerk baits. I just don't feel like this one is going quite as deep as I really want it to. color I tend to buy 
those perch colors in here. I do have this um, deep shadow wrap. Try this X wrap first. And X wrap is my favorite jerk bait. I've caught so many freaking fish on a on an X wrap. And here's something too that I do and a lot of people hate it and a lot of people hate it but I've used it for years and years and years and it has never bothered me hurt me I've never lost a fish because of it ever and that is when I'm throwing a jerk bait I like to throw a big snap on the head of a jerk bait and that's just it's just something I like to do and basically what I feel like it does is and you'll notice like like this uh, this jerk bait I have the split ring taken off the nose and people say oh that, that big snap is gaudy as hell and this that and the other well maybe it is but I mean look you got hooks and everything else but I feel like what it does it helps this jerk bait because a lot of times if you'll take notice of jerk baits in the winter time they will float they'll float head up in other words the back end of it will fall down and fall backwards i feel like this the snap helps keep that nose down and I think it helps it dive a little bit deeper, especially when I'm throwing like an X wrap that doesn't go real deep, but it's one of my favorite jerk baits. So I throw it in the wintertime all the time where I put that big snap on the front. And it's, it's not a big snap, it's just a 30 pound test class snap. I think it's like a number two, you know, so it's nothing huge, but that's just something I do. Everybody has their, their own little things. This wind is blowing. 15 plus out here right now making it kind of difficult to throw this x wrap because it's not very heavy There's number one. There's number one. Been fishing now for about two hours almost. He was up there on that point. Maybe it'll be another one.
there's another one. Come here. Ooh, big speckle. Nice big speckle. That's a pretty one there. There's guys over there speckle fishing. They probably like to have this guy. I'll throw him on back. All right, pretty one. Nice speckle. Nice speckle. Won't expect that at all. Hey, I'll take it. I'll take it. Some fish up here on this point. All right, so what I'm throwing is I'm throwing the Rapala X Wrap, and this is the nine size. And I have a suspender dot on the bottom of the lip to help it sit down. I throw it on my snap. Um, I think that helps it stay head down as well. And you can see this one here. Sorry about the wind. You can see this one here is probably about 10 years old. I've caught a lot of fish on this one. It's scratched up. Paint's missing all off the bottom. But it's one of my favorite ones. If I lose this one, it's going gonna, it's gonna to bother me a little bit. But I've caught a lot of fish on this on this particular X-Wrap. So you ever find one that works well, hang on to it. Don't let it get away from you because some are better than others. And this has the, been the best one that I've found as far as fish catching. I've thrown other ones, but this one here is my favorite. All right, so I'm going to throw a... gonna throw a silver buddy style lure a little bit see if we can get bit on that this is usually pretty good in here I've caught quite a few fish through the through the years on a one of these Beautiful fish, real orangey kind of color to him. Nice fish, though. You throw that out there and do that a little more. Pretty one, shoot, that's a two plus pounder. Nice, get in there, baby. All right, well, throw this back out there and try that again. All right, I'm gonna make a couple more casts, and that is gonna be it. Ended up catching that one pretty decent fish on this uh, on this blade bait out there in the middle. Sat out there for a while, chunked it, chunked it, chunked it. Never got another bite. Worked my way back into this cove and yo-yoing it in here and hadn't got one yet. Really surprised. I didn't catch a fish in this pocket, which is very unusual for when the water's cold. Usually they stack up in here, but I don't know, just won't, just won't today or not biting or whatever. There's a couple speckle fishermen out here fishing with live minnows and they had only caught two. 
and they're back at the ramp right now taking a little lunch break and they've been here for probably well over two hours and only caught two speckle in that amount of time so I don't guess it's that bad that I caught three fish since I've been here which I've been here now for see I got here at nine so almost three hours almost four hours now so a couple more casts and that is gonna be it for me be nice to load into a big one but all days can't be great and the wind out there on the main lake is blowing I mean 20 plus it is really rough out there hard to fish which that out there is where I did catch all my fish but it's incredibly hard to fish out there right now as windy as it is I'm gonna fire a couple out here kind of in the middle of this pocket alright so on the way home didn't kill them by no means but did okay yeah I mean you can't expect but so much here in middle of December in Virginia you know 46 47 degree water temps you know caught that one on the jerk bait and caught that nice speckle you know right there on that one point and then ended up catching that um, that one pretty decent bass on that blade bait you know but overall real slow the wind was crazy bad 20 mile per hour probably 30 mile per hour gust small body of water it was freaking white capping out there but you know you can't always catch them so it is what it is thank y'all for watching i'll see y'all next time